Jurassic World Dominion is introducing a brand new dinosaur into the Jurassic Park franchise known as the Giganotosaurus. This massive dinosaur is said to be the new nemesis in the movie, but it's actually made a few subtle and kind of important appearances here and there without many people knowing about it. Starting in Jurassic World, the Giga is a dinosaur that has been hidden in the background and deeper lore of the canon, but now with the sixth installment of the series set to come out in 2022, we're about to get a way better look at it than we've ever seen before. Four. Physically showing up in the new late Cretaceous prologue scene that's attached to the IMAX screenings of Fast 9, this is why the Giganotosaurus is a pretty big deal for Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now, for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Giga, and really why this guy is going to be such a big deal in JP6. For starters, we've got to go back and look at the history of this dinosaur within the context of the franchise, starting 65 million years ago during the events of the Dominion Prologue. Long ago, during the Mesozoic Era, Tyrannosaurus Rex entered into combat with a Giga on prehistoric Earth. That T-Rex lost its footing around the edge of a small cliff got bitten in the neck by the Giga, and after some off-camera tumultuous struggling, eventually fell and died in battle. But just as life was leaving the animal behind, a small prehistoric mosquito landed on the skull of this fallen dinosaur and began to drink its blood. This blood is said by Colin Trevorrow and Universal to be the blood that John Hammond would later discover and use to clone the Tyrannosaurus. InGen would later plan to use this animal for their elaborate Isla Nublar resort known as Jurassic Park. The Giganotosaurus, on the other hand, also had its DNA cloned. Although to make it very, very clear, we have no idea if that same Giga is the one that InGen would later synthesize DNA from. I personally find this to be very unlikely, however the fact is that Hammond's company would later go on to also find DNA of the species responsible for killing off that T-Rex donor from 65 million years in the past. Now while you can't really see it too well in Jurassic World, there actually are a few easter eggs that have been tucked away on Main Street that depict the Giganotosaurus as a dinosaur on a few gift shop walls. And what's even more interesting about the animal is the fact that its DNA was factually used in order to help create the Indominus Rex, the dinosaur that would eventually tear down Jurassic World and do battle with the 1993 T-Rex from the original park. Now of course, that battle would later end with the 93 Rex surviving and the Indominus Rex getting killed by the Mosasaurus, but even after the events of the fourth movie, Giga DNA would still be present in some way, shape, or form, no matter how little, within the Indoraptor from Fallen Kingdom, which was obviously the big bad dinosaur from that movie. Now after Fallen Kingdom, dinosaur DNA has been shotgunned out all over the planet, with different companies and entities getting their hands on DNA or just buying the dinosaurs outright via the auction that we saw go down in the last film where they would no doubt multiply the dinosaurs in order to sell even more of them. And Giganotosaurus DNA is apparently some of the material that would later go on to resurrect a new clone of this animal for Dominion. Now, at this current state in time, it's unclear as to who is going to clone the dinosaur and what kind of situations we can expect it to be in, but my money is on Dodson's company, Biosyn, ultimately being the ones responsible for setting it loose upon the Earth in the sixth installment, and I think that's probably the best theory that you could have going forward since InGen is all but gone, and I don't really think that Manticore is going to be the one that actually clones the dinosaur for Dominion either. Now, the reason Giganotosaurus is such a big deal in Jurassic World Dominion simply has to do with the fact that it's kind of already played a massive role in the franchise, but really on the down low. Not only being used to create animals like the Indominus Rex and Endoraptor, but also being responsible for killing the very T-Rex that John Hammond would later find DNA of for his Jurassic Jurassic Park Resort. The Giga is kind of like this weird prehistoric through line that has been sprinkled into the series here and there, but never really committed to until now. At this point in time, it's hard to say whether or not we will truly get a good look at the animal outside of this Cretaceous prologue that is set to premiere ahead of Fast 9, but until then, 2021 marks the official debut of the physical creature in a sense. Because even though this obviously won't be the same animal that we see terrorize people and other dinosaurs in Dominion, it's still the animal that killed Engine's Tyrannosaur donor, so that's really something of great importance for the story going forward. I should also point out that come 2022, we could be looking at a very different version of the Giga that we haven't seen just yet. 
since this Cretaceous era dinosaur from the prologue is a quote, pure specimen that is yet to be spliced with other animals in order to create a modern day equivalent. So while this design is technically what we're being introduced to, don't be surprised if it looks wildly different in the modern day scenes of Jurassic World Dominion. Comparing the Tyrannosaur alone to what we get in the Jurassic Park modern continuity, yeah, there's a lot of differences there. So it wouldn't shock me if the Giga looked different too. Anyways guys, this is all just what I personally have to say about the dinosaur. What do all of you think? Why is the Giga such an important dinosaur to JP6, apart from what I've mentioned here? And how do you think the animal will be utilized by Biosyn or anyone else in the upcoming film? Whatever your opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them. In the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my in-gen executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and in-gen hunters as well. Guys, it really means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.